State TV, a leading newspaper, and even some celebrities have had their say. But try as they might, it seems Apple's detractors in China just can't take a bite out of the all-American brand. Consumers appear to be taking Apple's side, despite a series of bizarre media rants over, of all things, a warranty issue. Let's try to make sense of what's actually happening here. Basically, China requires all companies to offer two-year warranties on their products, but Apple's computers only come with a one-year warranty. A couple of weeks ago, that led to China Central Television, CCTV, accusing the brand of having a discriminatory after-sales service in China. Apple has a habit of keeping a low profile when it wants to, and its response was pretty standard. It said Apple's uh, Chinese warranty is more or less the same as in the U.S. and all over the world. That didn't seem to have been the response the Chinese government was looking for, at least not if the words unparalleled arrogance are anything to go by. That's what a prominent editorial in the state-owned People's Daily newspaper said. The website Tea Leaf Nation also suggested CCTV was encouraging celebrities in China to express their outrage on Sina Weibo, China's Twitter-like service. It picked up on a message from a Taiwan singer and actor venting his frustrations about Apple's after-sales services. Whether or not it's true, CCTV itself appears to be sticking to its guns with two more segments criticizing Apple on Wednesday. Some have suggested the anti-Apple sentiment is motivated by a desire to help promote China's own smartphone brands like Huawei. But whatever the move, bear in mind that Apple is massively reliant on China for manufacturing at Foxconn and other factories. Also, CEO Tim Cook recently said he expects China to become the company's number one market. Last quarter, Apple's sales in the greater China region, and that includes Hong Kong, Macau and Taiwan, stood at 68 billion dollars. That's a lot at stake, meaning Apple literally cannot afford to leave a bad taste in the mouths of China's powerful media. Monita Rajpal, CNN, Hong Kong.